Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Job, chapter 1. Please keep the tongues under your breath, please. From verse 4, Job chapter 1, from verse 4, um, verses 4 and 5, first, then uh, verse 10. Sh shall we read, please? And his sons went and feasted in their houses, everyone his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and caused God in their hearts. Thus Job did continually. So mark the word continually. Okay, verse 10 now. Has not thou made an edge about him and about his house and about all that he had on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands and his substance is, is, is increased in the land. Glory to God. So from here we see Job, you know, people always say that this man, after he went through, you know, he was just so humble. He did not cause God. He was just very sanctimonious. But we see from verses 4 and 5 here that he was fearful continually. His problem was fear. His words were not in alignment with what it should actually be. You see, he was just fearful continually, burning incense, sacrifices for his children. He was just scared something bad might happen. But in verse 10, yeah, you know, it was in Satan that said, as thou not built an edge about him, he refused to see this from verse 10. Praise God. He now took lots of teachings and teachings for him to know that in verse 42 that Mm -mm. This is not God. He said he had just known God by rumor, but this is not God. He changed his confession. He changed his thinking. So the new creation is not like Job. We are not like him. We don't think like him. Glory to God. We don't think like him. Our words is in line with what the word of God says about us. Glory to God. We are men of faith, not of fear. Glory to God. Ephesians chapter 1. Verse 7. So this is one of our confessions. It says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to his riches of his grace. So this is one thing we believe we have faith, and we don't, we are not coward men. You know, when we you now say, Oh, oh, because I, I just sinned, I just did something, I want to cast out a demon, I cannot do that. Or you just say, I, 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 I just sinned now. I, I don't know if I'm a son of God anymore. No, you are a son of God. You are a son of God. We do not, we do not heed to the to the voice of fear, but to the voice of faith. It. The voice of faith overshadows the voice of fear. Somebody just say glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on.
Choose to listen to it. 